Hello, I'm Brent Sanjan, a Professor of Environmental Economics in the Department of Ag, Environmental and Development Economics at Ohio State University. This paper looks at the potential for forestry to help us avoid the climate change problem. Uh, forestry actions could be potentially big for the climate change problems. Why is that? One reason is, is that forests are an absolutely astoundingly large component of the global carbon cycle. Above ground forests contain roughly one trillion tons of carbon dioxide in the, in the woody biomass of the trees. So there's trees you see in your backyard, on the street corner and other places. They contain a fairly large amount of carbon when added up with all the other trees in the world. There's another component to the carbon storage of trees which is below ground. Below ground uh, the roots and other organic matter uh, below the soil or in the soil may contain up to two to three times that one trillion tons. So totally forests may contain three to four trillion tons of carbon dioxide in biomass and in material both above and below ground. How much is this? This is roughly equivalent to the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere itself today. And that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is what people are worried about could be causing the climate change problem. So forests are a big part of that because they contain roughly the same amount as what's in the atmosphere. If we can do things in forests to alter the amount of carbon, every ton we take out of the atmosphere and put into forests helps avoid some of the climate change problem that we might be facing in the future. How could we do this? One way we could do this is by looking at tree growth. When trees grow, they sequester carbon. Every ton of carbon sequestered in trees as they grow is a ton removed from the atmosphere. Current estimates suggest that forests may sequester when they grow up to 10 tons of carbon dioxide per hectare per year. This is a fairly large amount of carbon. If you think of taking maybe 1 million hectares of land in the Midwestern US or in Europe or Russia or South America and converting that over to trees, you could potentially sequester 10 million tons of carbon. That's removing 10 million tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through the growth of those trees. That's a pretty large number, particularly if that could be a relatively low cost option. There's another way we could think about using forests to avoid the climate change problem. Current estimates indicate that up to 10 million hectares of forests are converted to agricultural land every year, mainly in places like Brazil for soybean production or grazing for uh, cattle grazing, also in Indonesia for palm, palm oil production, also in Sub-Saharan Africa for other kinds of agricultural production. This 10 million, those 10 million hectares of land may contain up to 300 tons of carbon dioxide per hectare. That could be 3 billion tons of carbon emissions per year due to the, to the removal of those forests and conversion to some kind of agricultural practice. That's a large amount. Current estimates suggest that that's roughly 17 to 20 percent of the world's total carbon dioxide emission every year. So if we can find ways to reduce that carbon dioxide emission through deforestation, we can potentially have a big impact on the atmosphere and help avoid the climate change problem.